A big hello from Ireland. This is my garden. My name is Yvonne Furlong, the principal of Dublin School of Mandarin Chinese. I have been living here in Ireland for over 20 years now. I think it's, it's wonderful that Taiwan is going to be a bilingual country in 2030, as in Singapore. Today, I'm taking you to a few of my favorite places in Dublin. I live in a seaside town called Bray, just 30 minutes from the Dublin city center. My favorite things to do are hiking, swimming, and cycling. The Irish sea temperature is between 10 to 15 degrees. So I have only ever swum in the sea twice. Dunleary is a seaside town halfway between Dublin and Bray. Many people swim here every day, regardless of the weather. Up until the 1970s, the beach was a place only for male skinny dippers. It is also featured in the opening section of the book Ulysses by the famous James Joyce. Ice cream vans can be found everywhere. They are the only mobile food trucks you can find in Ireland. Street markets or night markets are not found over here due to the naturally cold and rainy weather in Ireland. The official languages in Ireland are English and Irish, so the road signs are all bilingual. Dublin Castle is a must-see place when visiting Dublin. It shows the history of Ireland under the occupation of England for over 800 years. The Royal Chapel beside it has beautiful stained glass windows with coats of arms representing many islands, viceroys, meaning vice kings, not vikings. Our last stop, pop culture. On a narrow street in the busy Temple Bar, when nightlife goes on, you will find the Wall of Fame. The Wall of Fame Dublin is our tribute to famous musicians such as U2, Sinead O'Connor, Shane McGowan, or the Pokes, Bob Geldof, and Luke Kelly. Other famous musicians are Westlife, Boyzone, Enya, Hosier, The Script, and call the line. I hope you enjoyed the video. Slong! Goodbye!